Hey everyone, in this video I want to share with you how you can create 3D looking lot animations. They look great and you may be surprised at how easy they are to make. Let's get started. So we're going to open up Illustrator and we're going to crack on drawing our house. So as you can see I've got two different parts. I've got my layers ending in one which are for the house when we look at it face on and then the rest which should be layered with a two at the end are for the side view of the house. Okay so let's get started with the foundations. So I'm going to draw out just a few lines for the house and use a 20 stroke width and then the roof okie dokie all right and then the door now very simple just a few lines but it will look great at the end and then the chimney okay let's go a bit higher up and then bump that down to 15 okay so this is the first step of the house and then I'm just going to paste the layers into the second part. So I'm going to grab the first part and then just paste into the same place. So roof one into roof two, door one into door two. Okay, I'm going to lock out the first layers and then start on the second. So, so the chimney that needs to stay this part of the chimney needs to stay um, so I'm just going to leave it visible but locked and then we're going to move the door the foundations and the roof to the left a bit so that's that okay now we've got to draw out the missing parts so the side of the roof and just touch up the angle okay gonna lock that draw the side of the house like that and lock that and then the last part, the side of the chimney. I'll just bring that down to 15. Okay, so that's our house viewed from the side, and then our house viewed from the front. So now we need to get this into After Effects and start animating the transition between the front part and the second. Let's go. Okay, so now that we are in After Effects and all I've done is imported our illustration in and then we're just gonna quickly create and then create shapes from Victor there. And then delete all of the illustrator layers. There we go. I'm just going to lock the guides. And what I like to do is the first part of the animation, all the different layers, so the ones ending with one, I just like to set them to a different color and then everything for the second part to another. Let's do purple and then a little bit of tedious work 
you've got to go into every layer and keyframe their path. So I'm going to get started with that. Okay, so now that all the paths have a keyframe, I'm going to copy the first part of the animation into the second part. So just quickly move all of the second part keyframes to the side, go to the beginning, and then foundation one, copy the path, copy and paste it into foundation two. And then roof one into roof two, door one into door two. Chimney, I'm actually gonna need this layer, so I'm gonna leave it as is, and then just delete the rest. So there we've got the first part of our moving animation. And so the chimney, I'm actually going to go into its path and just delete this um, vertice or point because it's actually not needed. And then for here, I'm just going to grab its points, move them to the left. holding shift and then they should pull out okay so that is our house and chimney animating so what we need to do next is sort out the roof or the roof side and the foundation side So to do that, we are going to be at the start of our timeline and animate the path. So I'm just going to select the points, holding shift, and then start moving them, holding shift again. There we go. Okay, and then the roof. sort of gonna tuck away these points of its path into the roof okay that's looking pretty good so we've got our starting house and then and then it's rotating and then it should go back to the start so I'm just going to paste the keyframes once again okay so it's rotating and then rotating to the side and then going back it's pretty cool so one thing you may have noticed is that we can actually just see the roof there we go pass through the chimney and so to fix this I'm going to duplicate my chimney and paste it on top of the roof side Rename it to chimney or mask, add it a fill, and then do an inverse track map. Voila. And then I'm just going to bring the stroke down because if you look closely, you get this sort of weird alpha problem. So if you take down the stroke, that should disappear and the roof is still hidden. Okay. All you need to do now is add some easing. So ch -ch -ch chimney. Let's add some easing to all of this. Give it some nice timing. 
I'm pretty happy with how the timing and the easing is going on this animation. So I'm going to open up the Lottie Files plugin and check out how it looks as a Lottie animation. Okay, that's looking good. Just give it a white background so I can see it. And that's one way to create 3D looking Lottie animations. Welcome to the Lottie Files YouTube channel. If this video helped you out, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to be notified of our newest uploads. You should also check out LottieFiles.com to discover thousands of free Lottie animations and helpful tools for everything Lottie. Take care and see you in the next one.